I'm going to share one of my favorite authentic Chinese recipes, a sweet and savory pork back ribs. These are so good. Hi, this is Mimi Bonnie. The recipe I'm about to show you is not exactly healthy, but you can make it healthier by steaming the pork ribs instead of deep frying it. So the ingredients, you'll need about a pound of pork back ribs and a meat cleaver to chop them up into chunks, or you can buy pork neck bones. So you need salt, sugar, or a substitute for sugar ideally. I ended up using stevia in the raw, uh, but I usually don't cook with any sugar at all. Cooking wine or sherry, chopped fresh garlic, cornstarch, Worcestershire sauce, or some soy sauce and white vinegar, water, and sesame oil. Regular or hot sesame oil. In this version, I use regular sesame oil. You only need like a dash. And believe it or not, ketchup. In this video, I actually have about two pounds of pork back ribs, so I'm gonna double up on everything that I'm telling you that you need. So three-fourths teaspoon of salt and three-fourths teaspoon of your sugar substitute. Now stevia in the raw is actually sweeter than regular sugar, so I don't even need as much. And one half tablespoon of cooking wine. And a half tablespoon of chopped garlic. I love garlic, so I went a little overboard here and one and a half tablespoon of cornstarch and mix everything together. Now in a separate bowl, you wanna mix the following. One tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce or two teaspoons of soy and one teaspoon of white vinegar. Ketchup, one and a half tablespoon of ketchup and half a tablespoon of your sugar substitute and one and a half tablespoon of water. And then lastly, a dash of sesame oil. Now the ingredients and the instructions are in the description below. Now the instructions, super simple. You heat up your wok or pan and once it's hot enough, add oil. I used coconut oil. And you deep fry the ribs for about four minutes or until it's golden brown. You take the ribs out and you deep fry them again for another minute to make sure it's thoroughly cooked. Uh, you usually see the skin kind of uh, shrink in the middle where the bone is and that's when you can tell it's done and then you drain all the oil off of them. Now, of course, to make this healthier, you do not want to deep fry these at all. Uh, I'd steam the pork ribs instead. And then you add the mixture that you create in the bowl into the wok and pan and bring it to a boil. Once that's boiled, you add the ribs in and you stir fry it until the liquid is almost evaporated, which is pretty quickly, and remove and serve. And that's it. It's so good. It goes perfect with brown rice and veggies and ideally healthier food options like lean meat or fish since this is not exactly healthier. Um, I did try to make it a little bit healthier though with the sugar substitute and coconut oil. But hey, it's all about being flexible. Well, let me know if you guys are gonna try this recipe. If you have never tried authentic Chinese, definitely try it because our flavors are much different than Americanized Chinese food. And stay tuned for my next Halloween birthday workout video. I actually taped this during the summer, believe it or not. Um, so thanks for watching, stay tuned, and please subscribe.